Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer and welcome to Best Kept Plans. Today's video is a cash envelope stuffing for the paycheck that I received on March 31st, 2022 using the printable version of the Budget by Paycheck workbook from The Budget Mom. If you're interested in seeing that, please stick around. Okay, so I have you all zoomed in so that you can clearly see my cash envelope breakdown. Because of that, you can't see all of the bills that I have here. I do have some hundreds up top and some fives and ones down below. Um, I think it's important to just really be able to clearly see this, so that's why I zoom in so close. Uh, I do want to start out, like usual, with talking about my emergency fund. For those of you that are new here, I do have an established emergency fund at my bank. It is a separate checking account that I have, but I always look for ways to try and continue to grow that emergency fund, even though I don't want to have to budget for it specifically. And so what I've found that works for me is that at the end of every pay period, I use the extra money that I have in my eating out gas and miscellaneous cash envelopes, and I transfer it into this emergency fund cash envelope. And once I hit a thousand dollars, I will then empty this, put it in my emergency fund checking account and start over again. At the end of the last pay period, which was over on the 30th of March, I had $86 left over in my cash envelopes, which should bring the total in my emergency fund to $768. So we're going to count that all up right now. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, six fifty, six seventy, six ninety, seven ten, seven twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, fifty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty, sixty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, sixty eight. So there's seven hundred sixty eight dollars in here. It was really exciting to be able to put so much towards this this past pay period. I think I had mentioned in my last cash envelope stuffing that um, I I'm hoping like I started this in May of May of 2021. So this was May 12, 2021 was when I made my first deposit in here, and I'm not going to get to a thousand dollars by May 12 this year. I don't think, um, but. You know maybe towards the end of the summer definitely by the end of 2022 so that's really exciting next we're going to be stuffing my variable expense cash envelopes and because we are entering into a new month i did uh, put together new cash envelopes these are three different designs that i actually have in my um, etsy shop which is always linked down below in the description box I love these three and I loved using kind of like bluey green and gray tones, like all these cool tone colors. I thought it was really nice. So first we're going to start out with my eating out cash envelope. This is going to be getting $75 in a $50 bill, a $20 bill, and a $5 bill. And I don't think I updated the trackers on my variable expense cash envelopes, but I did for my sinking funds. So let's see here. We have 50, 70, 75. Yeah, so I didn't get a chance to update my trackers on here. I will once this video is over. Um, I will mark off the deposit, but I'm also going to mark off that I usually take out the $5 bill from this envelope and from my gas envelope, which we'll stuff next, and put it into my $5 challenge. So next we're going to stuff my gas envelope, and again that's getting $75 in a $50 bill, a $20 bill, and a $5 bill. So we have... 50, 70, 75. And again, I will update this envelope to mark the deposit and then me taking out that $5 bill after I'm done with this video. And then lastly, we have um, my miscellaneous envelope. So this is the one envelope that generally has some variability in terms of how I stuff it from pay period to pay period. 
And the reason for that is I usually pull whatever cash I'm going to put towards any of my savings challenges from my miscellaneous envelope. And so I always have that in mind when I'm stuffing this envelope. So for today's stuffing, we're going to be taking out $150 in two $50 bills, a $20 bill, a $10 bill, three $5 bills, and five singles. And these should be all the singles that I have. One, two, three, four, five, it is. So let's count that all up and make sure that's $150. 50, 100, 120, 130, 135, 140, 145, 146, 47, 48, 49, 150. So we have $150 in here. And again, I didn't update this envelope, but I will with this deposit and then with what we're gonna pull out for our um, savings challenges, which we'll do at the end of this video. So next we're gonna move into our sinking funds. Uh, sinking funds has been a really exciting portion of my budget recently, and that's because we've reached goal on a few different sinking funds so far, even though we're only in the third month of 2022. Um, and so this list of sinking funds is a little shorter than it was at the beginning of the year. And it's just going to keep getting shorter because we're getting closer and closer to goals on a lot of them. One of my sinking funds that actually does not have a goal is my travel sinking fund. I consider this a rolling sinking fund, meaning that I have no goal, that I'm just going to continue to contribute to it every single pay period. That way I can utilize it whenever I'm going on a trip and it's continually growing. I always put $50 per pay period into it, and I'm gonna do that in a single $50 bill. I did, again, update these envelopes, and so with this deposit, we should have a total of $900 in this cash envelope. So let's count that up. 100, 200, 300, 400, 455, 556, 657, 758, 859, $900. That's really exciting. We're almost to $1,000. I'm so happy about that. Next, we have my Christmas sinking funds. Now, in my last cash envelope stuffing, I think it was my last cash envelope stuffing, I was talking about how um, I'm going to be reaching goal on another one of my cash envelopes today and I was going to have some extra cash and I didn't know whether I wanted to put it towards my Christmas envelope or towards my car insurance and car taxes envelope and I asked for your opinions and everyone said car insurance and car taxes so this envelope is going to continue to get its usual $25 and that's going to be in a $20 bill and a $5 bill whoops so we have our $25 here and with this deposit, we should have a total of $563 in this cash envelope. So I'm just going to add these bills in and then we will count everything up. Okay, so 563. So we have 1, 2, 3, 400, 420, 40, 60, 80, 500, 520, 30, 40. 40, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 563. So that is awesome. The goal on this envelope is $700. And so we are less than $150 away from reaching goal on this, which is great. Next, we have my medical cash envelope. So as you can see on the front, the tracker is completely filled in for this cash envelope, and that is because with this deposit, we are gonna reach gold. I usually put $20 per pay period towards my medical sinking fund, but because I'm doing a, a sinking fund snowball to get to my goals more quickly, meaning when I reach goal on an envelope, I still contribute that cash to my sinking funds. I just put it in a different envelope. Um, because of that, um, I'm able to reach goal on this by adding $30 to this uh, to the envelope for this pay period. So I'm going to do that in a $20 bill and a $10 bill. I can actually move my bills up. So we have $30 here. And as you can see, with that $30 deposit, we're reaching $500, which is my goal for this envelope. I actually haven't touched this envelope at all this year, which is really cool. 
So let's count this up. We have 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 500. So we are at $500, which is great. Now, this is an envelope where I've reached goal. Some people might be wondering if I'm going to consolidate this or condense this, and I'm not going to. I generally don't condense my sinking funds because I utilize them um, to make change if I need to um, at any time. So I generally don't condense them. Next, we have my car maintenance sinking fund. This is another one of those rolling sinking funds, which is why I don't fill out the tracker here on the front. front. I contribute to this every single pay period. I will continue to every single pay period. My car is over seven years old. I've been very fortunate and only had to do basic maintenance to it, but I know that the likelihood of needing to put more money towards my vehicle uh, increases as it gets older and I want to be prepared for that and so I'm just going to continue to save and save and save for that. Um, I also have in the back of my mind that if I ever, you know, whenever it is that I decide to purchase a new vehicle, I can certainly utilize some of this cash towards that given that after I get a new vehicle, I likely won't need a really bulked up car maintenance fund for a while. So um, I always put $50 per pay period towards this sinking fund. And I'm going to do that in a single $50 bill. And with this deposit, we should have a total of $1,287 in this envelope. So let's count that up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, fifty, eight, eight, fifty, nine, nine, fifty, one thousand, ten, fifty, eleven hundred, eleven, fifty, twelve hundred, twelve, fifty, twelve, seventy, twelve, eighty, eighty five, eighty six, twelve, eighty seven. So we have one thousand two hundred eighty seven dollars in this fund, which is great. I will be taking from here soon. I do need an oil change soon. I think I've been mentioning that probably for like the last couple months. <laughs> I guess I drive less than I realized um, or I increase my mileage less than I realized, uh, but I definitely will need it soon. I think I'm within a thousand miles of needing that oil change. Next, we have my car insurance and taxes. And like I mentioned earlier, this is the fund where I'm basically funneling all of my um, extra sinking funds cash into from the envelopes that I've already um, reached goal on. So I reached goal on my holidays, birthdays, and subscriptions envelopes. So all of that cash is being funneled into here. Um, and that's really exciting. So today for this um, cash envelope stuffing, we're going to be putting $115 towards my car insurance and taxes. And we're going to do that in a $100 bill, a $10 bill, and a five dollar bill so we have 100 110 115 and with this deposit we should have a total of 1305 in this envelope so i'm going to add these bills in here and then we can count this all up together so we have one, two, three, four, five, five fifty-six, six fifty-seven, seven fifty-eight, eight fifty-nine, nine fifty ten. So this is a thousand, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, eleven, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, twelve hundred, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, ninety, thirteen hundred, thirteen oh five. This is great. So we have thirteen oh five in here and I need to save a total of $15.20 for my car insurance and taxes by July. So that means we have just a little over $200 left to put towards um, this sinking fund to reach goal. And I think I can do that within the next two pay periods. So hopefully by the end of April, I'll be reaching goal on this, which is really exciting. And just as a reminder, now what will be contributed to this is the... $70 that I usually contribute every pay period, what I contribute to my holidays envelope, to my birthdays envelope, to my subscriptions envelope, and now 
my medical envelope. So all of that cash will go towards here every pay period until this reaches goal. And I can actually fill in another line on this, which is really exciting. So that is it for my sinking funds. I do have the sinking funds envelopes that I've reached goal on here as well. Subscriptions, birthdays, and holidays. And I just kind of keep those in the back. Um, I do have cash sitting here and it should be my $600 for my rent, which I always pull in 300s and 650s. So let's just count that up. I don't have an envelope for it. One, two, three, 354, 455, 556. So this will just go towards paying my rent. And then the only things that we have left to do are to contribute to my um, 2022 sinking funds and my 52 week challenge. I mean, 2022 savings challenges and my 52 week challenge. And I'm actually going to go to April's monthly view to look at that. So let me zoom out just a little bit. So basically, um, I was paid the last day of March. It's actually April 1st when I'm filming this. And so for the 2022 savings challenges, um, even though it's a March paycheck, I'm contributing for April. And I don't get paid again until April 14th. So um, for this month, um, there's two savings challenges. One is going to come from my cash envelopes. One's gonna come from my paycheck. The paycheck one I'm pulling out in one amount on the 28th of April, my last payday. Um, and for the cash envelope one, I'm pulling it out every single week. And as you can see, whatever the challenge was, which I'm not gonna share here because it's um, something you can purchase from the Budget Mom, I, I have to pull $34 a week for that. And because I don't get paid until the 14th, I actually have to pull $34 twice. And so that adds up to be $68. I do believe I updated this envelope to indicate, and I spelled deposit wrong. <laughs> But I updated it to indicate that I need to pull $68. And I'm going to be pulling that from my miscellaneous envelope. And even though I didn't mark it on my uh, tracker for my miscellaneous envelope, I will. And I did have these um, savings challenges in mind when I pulled my bills. So we should have the proper bills for this. So it's 68 So I think I probably did 50 60, 65, and then 66, 67, 68. That's what I'm assuming I did in my head. <laughs> so 50, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68. So we have $68 that I'm pulling from my miscellaneous envelope and I'm gonna put it into my April cash envelope for the 2022 savings challenges. And then lastly, oops, I have to contribute to the 52 week challenge and that's what this 13 and 14 over here are on Sunday. I always um, have it marked on Sunday what I have to pull each week for that challenge. Um, and so I have to pull $13 and $14 because again, I don't get paid until the 14th. So I do two weeks at a time. So let me find my actual 52 week challenge tracker because I want to be able to mark it off. So I can mark off for week 13 and week 14. And 13 plus 14 is $27. I did mark it off on the envelope. I should end up with a total of 105, which is exactly what we have listed here on the tracker. So I need to pull $27 from my miscellaneous envelope. And I'm gonna do that in a $20 bill, a $5 bill, and two single, no, yeah, two singles, which means I have $55 left in my miscellaneous envelope. I will pull this $5 bill for my $5 challenge. And so I will have $50 left to spend as I wish over the next two weeks. And so this should be $27, let's recount it. 20, 25, 26, 27. 30, 31, 32, 33, and I'm gonna pull out all the cash we have in here. We'll add everything together and then count it all up. This is one where I'd probably consider like switching bills out um, with maybe some of my other envelopes just because it's got so many singles because at the, at the beginning of the challenge, you're saving really small amounts. So anyways, 
let's count this up. We should have 105, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 91, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 100, 1, 2, 3, 4, 105. So we do have $105 in here. And I'm going to put that back into the envelope. Very exciting. And so now we're done with the 52 week challenge and the April 2022 challenges from the Budget Mom. And that is it for this week's uh, cash envelope stuffing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Certainly, if you have any questions or comments about um, the way that I budget or the way I determine my cash denominations, how I'm doing my sinking funds, how I'm utilizing the sinking funds. Um, sinking fund snowball that I'm doing to reach my goal on my sinking funds. If you have questions about the 52 week challenge, this envelope and the tracker that I showed um, are available in my Etsy shop as well. You can always put questions or comments down below. I do really appreciate and enjoy hearing from you all. And as always, everyone, please be safe. Bye-bye.